So today I'm gonna to go over what oil I use and recommend for my lawnmowers. So it's a debate of conventional versus synthetic uh, motor oil. And I always use on my, uh, on the Bobcat, uh, Bobcat 52 inch, Xmark 30 inch, uh, and the push mower that I have, uh, as well as the snow blowers. I only use, um, I only use synth fully synthetic. It's a mobile one, full synthetic. Uh, I've used Mobile One 10W30, and I've also used uh, Pennzoil, uh, their 10W30, uh, full synthetic. And, you know, uh, I always recommend using full synthetic as opposed to conventional oils because, you know, synthetic oils, uh, they're going to confer a lot more advantages and they're going to um, they're going to extend the wear protection over a prolonged period of time. You know, the conventional oil, what's going to happen is it's going to, the, the particulates within the oil are going to degrade over time and you're going to lose some of that uh, wear protection um, as opposed to a synthetic formulation. It's just a different formulation of oil. And you have to keep in mind these are air-cooled gas engines, so their operating temperatures are going to be very high. There's going to be a lot of wear. There's going to be a lot of friction, so you want to ensure that, you know, your engine is protected to the fullest extent uh, so you can maximize the durability of your engine. So uh, I wrote down a few things I was just going to talk about here. Um, so number one is keeping your engine cleaner. You know, what a synthetic oil will do, again, it's, it's formulated much differently, so there's going to be less uh, impurities within the oil. Um, so in, in the formulation, it's, it's going to be, um, it's going to be cleaner. And then over time with conventional oils, you know, after prolonged periods of running and running and running, they tend to, uh, they tend to forge, uh, sludge deposits within different areas of the engine. So you're not going to have that with synthetic. So overall with conventional oils, um, what's going to happen is it's going to be reducing the efficiency of the oil as well as the engine. So you're not going to have that with uh, synthetic. The next thing is better wear protection. Again, um, uh, synthetic oils go through a much more comprehensive distillation process. Um, and so what's going to happen is, um, you know, the oil is not going to lose uh, the, the protection, the wear protection uh, or the resistance to friction over time. Whereas, you know, uh, conventional oil is as you use it more and more and more, the, the wear protection gradually diminishes. Synthetic oil is just going to be the same uh, for a, um, an extended period of time. And the last one is synthetic oil is going to be better in low and high temperatures. You know, in a low temperature application, what you're going to have is where the oil is just sitting there. Um, you know, synthetic oil as opposed to conventional oil is going to flow through the engine much more quickly. It has, uh, you know, greater viscosity. It's, um, it's able to um, it has greater fluidity. So, uh, in, in cool operating conditions, it's, it's, you're able to turn it on and it's able to circulate faster through the engine, which is going to eliminate wear as well. And the, the same thing goes for higher operating temperatures. Again, um, you're not going to, the, um, the lubricating abilities of the oil are not going to diminish, uh, didn't diminish significantly over time, like a conventional oil. So it's going to protect your engine. And then typically, on the zero turn as well as the the small walk behind uh, i just um, the manual recommends 100 hour oil changes so even though i transferred over to synthetic and that's all i use um, every 100 hours i'll just do another oil change i don't extend the um the service interval just because it's synthetic over conventional again it might give you a little bit of leeway if you're behind on an oil change but i just change it every 100 hours regardless and uh, you know do as your manual describes but for the most part it's with zero turns it's every 100 hours um and then i think every 200 hours for the oil filter but what ended up what i ended up doing is i just do every 100 hours for oil and filter so i just change them both at once so that's uh that's my thoughts on synthetic versus conventional motor oil i just always go with synthetic um you know the price difference is just marginal and uh, synthetic is just going to protect your engine a lot better than conventional will. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy that video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You, know, you can stay tuned with, for more videos. Um, you know, make sure to comment down below. You can check out the description for some cool extras. So thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.